Alright guys, this is a new series I'm starting called Is It Five Stars? Um, so Dave Meltzer, hopefully a lot of you people know who that is, the pet writer for Wrestling Observer Newsletter, and Figure Four Weekly, I believe, has a list of five star matches, and basically, the series that I'm going to create is going to be reviewing those matches and saying, is it five stars or isn't it? So, and it's just for matches I can find. Some of the matches I can't find, probably. Um, and the first match, as you can see, is Ric Flair versus Barry Windham from Jim Crockett Promotions on April 11th, 1987. And no, the answer will not be in the description for those who want to know. So, this match was a good match. It's an amazing match. Is it five stars? You'll find out. Um, wrestling was very good. The psychology was one of the, some of the best I've ever seen. Like, they would do spots close, parts of the match close to the beginning, and then they'd try to do, and they, they'd try to do the same thing to their opponent, like, again, but the opponents would know that it was coming. <laughs> like, and then sometimes it was just one after another, Barry Wyndham, like, sprung, ran off, bounced off the ropes, hit a clothesline, bounced off the other side, but Ric Flair had to sleep, got him with a sleeper, because he knew it was coming. The ending was great. Barry Wyndham just kept trying to pin him like four times in a row. And then he got him with a roll up, like a victory roll type thing. But Flair flipped him over and just grabbed the tights. It was a great finish. I don't care if the, it's a cheap way to win. It was a good finish. And then in like halfway, a little over halfway through the match, Barry Windham um, gets him with a sleeper hold, but after like a two count, Ric Flair, because Ric Flair's just, and then he flips him over Rick, and he's like this to Ric Flair, but Ric Flair gets the root to the ropes after a two count, and then closer to the end of the match, he hits a missile drop kick, and there's a three count, but Ric Flair's feet are on the rope, and they cancel it, and then he gets him with a I think it was a suplex, but he gets the ropes, and he just keeps getting the keeps getting the ropes. And the referee sees this, like it would have been cheating if he would have won with something, if Barry would have won with someone's feet on the ropes. But when Ric Flair cheats, that he doesn't notice because Ric Flair is just so sneak. And in the beginning of and Ric Flair's psychology of trying to get away. And dodging just to avoid it. And Barry Windham using the figure four was awesome. But Ric Flair knowing how to get out of it. The interaction with the referee with the first time Flair used the figure four. This was a pretty awesome match. There are some problems with it. Um, wrestling wasn't the best. Okay, it was very good, but it was not, the best. It was not amazing. The psychology was second to none. Um, there was a couple of things I didn't like. Like the sleeper spot where he got his foot to the ropes. Like he was right next to it the whole time even when he had the sleeper in. So I don't know why he couldn't have just gotten the rope break. And then he would have let go of the sleeper before. But that's just a minor thing. Um, so is it five stars? I will give this match a four and three quarter star rating. It is not five stars. There's just uh, some things I did not really, really enjoy as much as I could. It's a great match. I think you should check it out. But no, it is not five stars. There was just 
the sleeper spot annoyed me, but that was that was really minor. That wouldn't have not made it five stars. It was just like it, if it had a little more time, I think the wrestling could have been better. But overall, it was a, an amazing match. You should check it out. But four and three quarter. So that's the first episode of Is It Five Stars, guys? See ya.